Hi everyone, it's Dr. Marinelli from Med School Coach here. I'm the Director of Advising and today I wanted to talk a little bit about an overview of becoming a physician. So as you likely know, becoming a physician is an arduous process. But if you know that this path is what you really want, then it's definitely possible to succeed. The first step and one of the most difficult is securing an acceptance to medical school. According to the AMC, of about the 53,000 applicants that applied to medical school, only about 21,000 were accepted. So as you can see, the process is inherently competitive, just based on numbers alone. However, there are many other aspects of your application that are evaluated for admission, and these can all make the difference of an acceptance or not. So let's discuss the type of activities and prerequisites that you need to have in order to become a competitive applicant to medical school. Your grades and test scores are some of the most critical aspects of your application. The average applicant has a GPA of 3.55, while the applicant that actually got into medical school or the matriculant has a GPA of 3.7. This reinforces the idea that many people are applying, but only the most qualified applicants will typically gain admission. In addition to having your strong GPA, the Medical College Admissions Test, or MCAT, should be also very competitive. Again, the average applicant has a score about a 502, while the average matriculant has a score of about a 509. There's quite a discrepancy between those applying and those gaining admission. The importance of the MCAT cannot be understated and is crucial to thoroughly prepare for the exam. In addition to grades in the MCAT, an applicant must appear well-rounded with their extracurricular activities. Any applicant should strongly consider having clinical-related experience, physician shadowing, research, community service, or volunteer work, and activities that demonstrate leadership. Although the number of hours spent in these activities is an important aspect, your activities should be meaningful to you and you should continue the activity for a long period of time, which will show dedication and commitment to the admissions committee. Most students apply to medical school during their spring of their junior year of college. If accepted, this means that they will matriculate into medical school the fall after finishing their undergrad. That means that the application process takes about a year. If one applies during their senior year, then they can expect to take a year off between college and medical school. This is also known as a gap year. The application process consists of a primary application that's submitted in early June or late May, the date changes a little each year, secondary applications that are sent out during the summer, and interviews which typically occur during the fall and spring. When you apply, you should have your MCAT score available. Most of your prereq science courses should be completed, letters of recommendation, and most of the typical, as we mentioned, extracurricular activities on your resume. So let's talk a little bit about those prerequisite college courses. So gaining admission to medical school requires that you have an essential scientific knowledge base in order to do well in the rigorous medical curriculum. Most schools have prerequisite college courses that you have to have completed prior to matriculating into medical school. The typical prerequisite courses are one year of biology with lab, one year of general chemistry with lab, one year of ochem with lab, one year of physics, and one year of math and English. In addition, some schools require biochem or psychology. It's important to check each school's individual requirements before applying. And also, before taking the MCAT, it's really important to have those courses completed so you have that knowledge base to perform well. It's also suggested that you take a course in the social sciences and psychology before taking the MCAT because those subjects are tested as well. As previously mentioned, in addition to grades and your MCAT score, medical schools evaluate you based on your extracurricular activities. You should have a variety of activities, but again, it's important to show dedication and a commitment to your experiences. One critical activity that all applicants should have is working or volunteering in a medical study. Most frequently, students will have volunteered in an emergency department or hospital. This is a great way to get exposure to the healthcare environment. In addition, medical schools also like to see that an applicant has some type of direct patient interaction. This means that in addition to watching healthcare professionals provide care, you should also be directly communicating with patients and caring for them as well. These experiences will help reassure admissions committees that you've had some experience working with patients and that this is not an entirely new experience when you start medical school. 
Another extracurricular activity is research. And this one is pretty important. Your research should ideally include a project where you designed an experiment, created a hypothesis, and tested it. The best projects include ones where maybe you've published or presented your research to others. In addition, medical schools really want to see that you've had some type of service-related activities to really show your altruistic side and also your dedication to helping others. This can include volunteer work, community service, uh, volunteering with social service programs like Habitat for Humanity or Big Brothers or Big Sisters. You should also have this work in addition to volunteering at the hospital if that's your clinical experience. Lastly, it's very important that you have shadowed physicians, preferably in different specialties and practice settings. Shadowing reassures admissions committees that you have some concept of what being a physician entails and still want to pursue this path. You should also have some type of leadership activity, which can be part of your other experiences. This shows medical schools that you have the ability to successfully guide others in activities. Most applicants will have various extracurricular activities that show that they are well-rounded and qualified and can handle multiple obligations at once, which is a skill required of a medical student and a practicing physician. When choosing from different activities, ensure that you're interested and motivated to participate in it. Try not to let an activity just become a checkbox on your application, but something you truly desire doing and you have enthusiasm to pursue it. This will help you greatly when writing about your activities for your application and when discussing them during the interviews. This has been a very general overview of the different requirements that are required for applicants to medical school. Um, definitely stay tuned, we'll dive deep into all of these different topics, including focusing on the MCAT, your GPA, your extracurricular activities, and then moving on where we put it all together and talk about how to present yourself in your application. Thanks for joining us.